Here's part of the city's approach to potholes. This van you see rolling right by, you might have seen it out on the road. Tonight, CBS 8's Abby Black is working for you. She is learning about the technology to track road conditions to better budget for repairs with this van. You may have seen this van driving around in your neighborhood wondering, what is it? Well, it's the Aaron, the automatic road analyzer. Okay, so what does it do? We're working for you to show you how the city is using it to improve road conditions. San Diego streets. But they're unsafe. We've heard an earful from you this year. A lot of potholes it needs to be fixed. The rain hasn't helped either. I hope that the city does more to anticipate these types of things and takes like a proactive approach to it. The city hears you. So this is the condition assessment van with lots of gadgets. These are actually lasers that are allowing us to capture potholes and cracks and surface issues on the road. I noticed the van on Twitter when Ari Isaac saw it on the street and wondered what it was too. A mayor staffer responded that it's for the new street conditions assessment report. So I got to work. I hit the pavement on Claremont Mesa Boulevard and mounted a camera inside the van to see how the city is wholesale mapping its 3,000 miles of roads in the city. The van has cameras and lasers that measure the smoothness of the road or not so smooth. The city tells us that no, Google can't do this. We're actually collecting more information than Google is, um, and it helps us really make good decisions. We're talking to the city's road czar, Bethany Bezak. She's the city's transportation director who says the $500,000 technology is contracted through Fugro. This will allow the city to get back on track to document the road's overall condition report index, or OCI, every four years. There is some work definitely need to be done. The data will rank the roads either good, fair, or poor to give the city an idea on what repairs are needed. Or the fair category is the sweet spot because that allows us to prioritize some funding to do some kind of maintenance activities like slurry seal, protective finishes that coat the roadway to help them last a little bit longer so they don't get into the poor condition, which costs even more money to have to do a full repair. The city council will receive the report in the fall so they know how to budget for repairs to make it a smoother ride for drivers. But it can't be this one-off patching type of thing. I think we really need a systemic change a plan, if you will. The city says by the end of the week, it'll finish its road assessment from Claremont Mesa Boulevard down to Otay, and then it'll go to the beach area in the north area of the city. Working for you, I'm Abby Black, CBS 8.